on this uh, Tuesday morning Tuesday. edition coming up live as always okay. every last Tuesday. Let me tell you why I'm last Tuesday. We're waiting on the mayor. He's on his way up here. 6.33. We come out to the second half hour. Gloria does the weather. I start doing my usual mm -hmm. thing. Plugging the mayor going to be here because you're here every the week. About that time, power goes out. Super Bowl moment. <laughs> Stayed out for an hour. We're out. ZYP's out. Everything that way's out. Y'all probably wow. had power over in Cambridge. No, we, we, we were out stuck. too. Wow. But Jiffy had power, and then it was out for I like an hour. Hmm. You were out. I was out. Everybody was. I think yeah. they had a, some major transformer go out over right. at Steelcase or something. Right. Go home take a nap. Yeah, but the mayor showed up. We just weren't <laughs> able to get him on. So y'all had a packed house last night at the council meeting. We did, Jamie. We had a packed house last night. We had the whole neighborhoods, it turned out. The uh, <laughs> property on 31 there that Mr. Crow wanted to get rezoned to start a business. Uh, it's residential now. It stayed residential. We did not approve that. Now, when something like that, and that's not, I mean, that's not uncommon for y'all to vote that. Right. Now, when can they try again for that, or is it dead? It's not dead. Well, it's dead for at least one year. Okay. He can, he can come back and resubmit it within one year, and then it, we would take a look at it again. But in a situation like that, you have to have approval majority of the council members? Yes, yes. And it was unanimously no last night. It was no one... Voted for it. There was some talk for it. There was some good things said on both sides, but it was unanimously voted down. So a lot of people from the neighborhood showed up to voice their well, opposition. They, Jamie, they sure did. I mean, they both churches, uh, all the neighbors that lives behind it, on each side of it. Well, is it safe for Greg to ride through that neighborhood? <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's probably all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to tell him that. Now, you said something about robotics. Tom was mentioning robotics. Yeah, there ro the middle school last night came and done a presentation on robotics. They've got this, they have uh, made this robotics that will actually help do recycling. It'll pick up your, cla your glass bottles and put them in the recycling bin. Uh -huh. Now, are they the ones trying to get the... The, the $110,000. Yeah, yeah, right. Actually, the teacher's going to be door. with us uh, Tuesday. Okay, so she'll yeah. be with us she'll next, be with us next okay, Tuesday. Great. That is right. a good project they're doing. It really yeah. is. Well, so a packed house, y'all don't get many of those for Christmas. We don't get a whole lot of them. That We sure don't. And the, the other uh, part of the crowd was there because the people that lives on airport, uh, Edgewood Road, like Randy White right. and uh, Chief Harper, their water pressure out there is just minimal. And uh, we hopefully we fixed that last night. We voted, the council did, to, uh, to redo the water pipes, put in larger water pipes to where they'll have plenty of pressure out there. Hmm. Yeah, well, what else? I mean, he's got a lot of written up here in the News Courier this morning about all the stuff y'all did. What about uh, the new shopping center going in up here by Champion Chevrolet? Jamie, uh, we, last time what we done the, is you get in front of Walmart uh, and, and turn left there by the chicken place. Uh, right, exactly. exactly. We, we're gonna, we extended that street all the way through to almost Brook Hill. Exactly. We're putting in a new bridge. Old Decatur Road. That's the old Decatur Road. That's, that's where they're going to build all the big apartment complex. And that's nice. Oh, and 200 acres of undeveloped property. That's it, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a, lot. a lot of property, isn't it? That is a lot of property. But, Jamie, that's going to really enhance the looks of our city right there. I went over and visited those apartments. They are nice. They are very nice. So they're going to have those apartments. they got a whole slew of apartments going up down on Mooresville Road. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, that's in the Huntsville City limits, isn't it? It is, Jamie. Mm -hmm. That is. That won't have anything any bearing on us. But you know, Bill Ming is building that strip mall right across right. there from Walmart. Actually, it's right west of it there. That's going to be a nice little complex, too. They're going to have a super dollar tree in that one. I heard they were. Super dollar. Yeah. Super, super dollar, dollar tree. tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we just, Athens is just getting all trees. kinds of stuff. Athens is doing good right now, Jay. Any word on when IHOP's opening? Yeah, well, I don't know the Should exact day, but they've got the sign out there ready to mount, and I did hear it was going to be like a couple of weeks or something like really? that. Really? Yeah. We're going to be talking with Tim and Tim's Cajun Kid in just a moment. He's going to start, <coughs> excuse me, opening for breakfast next month, Tim. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to sample some of his breakfast. And don't forget, in, Mar in March, First National Bank will be opening their right. new Downtown. location, which yeah. is on Jefferson Street, where the old LaDodge building used to be. Yeah, and that's going to look good. They're going to be a I really mm -hmm. need to get Tim to open one over here. Yeah, well, <laughs> sure. Move does. on over, Tim. All right, anything else going on? On Harold, that uh, we need to know any new subdivisions or anything like that being approved? Jamie, we're, we're just busy on looking at streets, a lot of paving and stuff like that. Last night we addressed some major uh, paving issues and drainage problems, like Airport Road is going to have to be uh, redone. We looked at a, we looked at some grants over by the Athens Elementary School where they have flooding when it's real bad. 
So, hey, man, we're, we're working hard for you. Sure. All right, let's talk about something right down the road here. Yes, there's an article coming out that's on AL.com. Huntsville Airport, right in the road, is the most expensive in the United States by $150 a ticket. Wow. Wow, that's a good bit. That is a good that's why we drive to Nashville a lot. Well, that's what it says here. Most people, Most people go to Birmingham. Uh, in the third Nashville. quarter, round trip flights averaged 522 compared to the national average of $367. And Barbie Peak, who I've known for many years, she's over yeah. it. She says, to feel the frustration of the community. Uh, that's not good. Most people are driving to Birmingham. And it says most of the low-cost carriers have left Huntsville. So in will, the they change, the over here. will they change that now that they've gotten so much bad publicity uh, that everyone knows? I don't know if they can do that. It's pretty hard to bring somebody in, I guess. Huh. Mm -hmm. We got any, get any new industries in here? Any job growth here you can share with me? No, to? Jamie, I, I, don't, I don't know of any right now. You know, we're looking. There's a lot of things out there that Tom Hill and those guys are working on, but right now there's nothing no announced. How's the two new count, three new council members working now? <laughs> They're working out real good. I tell you, Joseph is last night. Well, he's, I don't know he's he that. He, show that picture again of Joseph and little Tanner there. He's fishing all the time. He, hey. he look at, he no, he out. is not. Yeah. That's his time off with his little boy. How he, he, I'll tell you, Joseph's doing really good. All three of them are doing real good. You know, they, they're, they're really involved. They sure are. So <laughs> Anything else about Athens we need to know about, Tom, that you might have heard last night that we forgot to ask Harold this morning? No. <laughs> All right, Harold. So other than Project J, you, you, can you share Project J with anybody? Uh, go Is ahead, that a real thing? <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't want to know about it. He's tricking you. He's tricking you. All right, Harold, you yeah. said you had a question for me, though. That well, last night, know a couple last, of night. Last, last night, a couple of people said, You're going to be on Jamie Cooper tomorrow? And I said, Yeah. He, they said, You need to get us some advice for Valentine's Day. We know he should be well experienced. <laughs> and one of the questions Thanks for bringing that up, Harold. Well, I don't know how it came up. They just said, But, Jamie, they wanted to know this. If you hadn't been dating this, this lady long, where, where should you go on a date like that? Where should you take her? If you haven't been dating if you have, If it's just your second or third date. Well, you know all those three-monthers you dated. Where did you take all those them? Who? Three-monthers. <laughs> yeah, where, where would you suggest you take them? I took them home. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it didn't last. No, where would you take them for why, Valentine's Day? Why, why waste oh, money? Why, like how? Why, why waste money on them? Yeah, why waste money? <laughs> hey, Jamie, terrible. they wanted to know about the gifts that you should give them. If you've only been dating her once or twice, should you buy lingerie? No, not once or twice. What do you think, Jamie? Wow. Well, I am a regular at Victoria's Secret, I can tell you that. But uh, <laughs> if I've just been dating them long, once again, I give them the gift of me. Right. Oh, yeah, lucky that. Uh -huh. That's why it didn't work yeah. out long. Uh -huh. So what, where are you taking your lovely bride for Valentine's that's Day? That's not true. If you uh, would, it, that's not true because... I'm a romantic. I'm not even going to tell on you, but you tried a lot of things. Work, didn't it? Oh, how about Eventually. that? That's what we were Harold, you missed first part. It was 15 years ago today that I first met Gloria. Was it really? How 15 years ago He today. wouldn't go away. Yeah. <laughs> he he wouldn't, wouldn't go away. There's Toto right there. That's me on the left. Oh, I yeah, know. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Did you get her a Valentine, James? Oh, yeah. Yes, you call it what you want, Harold. You bombarded but, uh, me with. I don't have flowers. As soon as I got well. divorced, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you funny. made a good choice. Chocolate. Me or her? You. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, I don't know what else to tell you about that, but one thing I would recommend you go out and get is this swimsuit edition. Of yeah, I saw the cover of that. Yesterday. That's what Did the ladies can get for the guys. Yeah. Guys are always left out for Valentine's Day. Go ahead and get them uh, a magazine for Valentine's Day. Frank cover, enjoyed that it. That cover something else. It is. That's it's got Catherine <laughs> Webb in here, the Auburn graduate. She's yeah, in I saw here that. What page? 26. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> now, the one I saw, she had on a... Oh, both sure. Yeah, this yeah. it's on iPad. It didn't make it in the magazine, but it made right. it right there. So you can pick them up. I think they're $20 a piece. Are they that much? No, I hope Oh, not. God. I don't know what I pay. I sold it to Frank for 20 <laughs> <laughs> He already knew where all the pages what the, uh, everybody Renting was on. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, Hell, I'm right. sorry. I can't give you more advice. But now, we are. Show that picture of dear Jamie. We are starting. We're going to... We, well, you know what? Why don't you just suggest taking him out to eat at Zach since he's doing, Zeke since he's doing such a nice well, Valentine's well, think Day. About it, but show my dear Jamie. You know, we're tired of just doing dear Abby's and everything. So now we're just going to oh, start. God. Dear Here's Jamie. Jamie. Text me, Facebook me, whatever you want, and then I'll take some more stuff out, and we'll go over that, and it'll be kind of like I'll just go over it with a dear Jamie right there. Yeah, now, good. speaking of Valentine's Day, which is Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. our buddy Zeke up at Pizza Inn, believe it or not, now, right. Tim, this guy give you a run of your competition, buddy. 
Zeke is doing a special Valentine. Usually Thursday's reserved for steak night up there, and he's packed. Jeff Hodges and all a bunch up in Ardmore Way go there. That's uh, there. There's his beautiful Zeke wife. And Zach and a whole bunch there. Yeah. But he's having a special Valentine's Day dinner coming up this mm. Thursday. Zeke will be preparing this um, red velvet something. He's going to prepare it, prepare it here on the it's show good. Thursday. So you guys, I don't know about reservations or not, but I will know all that by tomorrow, hopefully. And we'll tell you all about what Zeke is going to be preparing. You guys wait till the last minute anyway, so that'll work out perfect. Anything else you need to ask me? <laughs> no, but you've got, a, you've got a couple of days here to think about it. Each morning you can give us a tip or two, you know. So oh, don't we'll people wait. usually do the traditional chocolate or flowers? Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Nothing hey, wrong I, with speaking that. Speaking of flowers, I do have At a story all. on that, if I can find it. Hang on, y'all bear with me right quick. Gee. Well, no, there are some roses out. Here it is, right? It's USA Day this morning. Yeah, it's there it is. Leave it to America, land of the Big Gup, Monster Burger, and McMansions. Six-foot roses are available just in time for Valentine's Day, Harold. $300 for a dozen. Oh, don't Ooh. waste your money on that. Huh? A dozen of the five-foot variety plus a, a vase cost nearly $300. Do you know how many pair of shoes you can buy for three hundred dollars? Fiftyflowers.com are only available in bulk. <laughs> you can get ninety-six for six hundred dollars. They're gonna. That's die. a big friggin' rose. That is a big rose. They delivered on time. That's yep, a... it says here they will be oh. delivered on time. Six foot high roses. Flowers are just gonna die though. Get something that'll that's last. That's why I like to give you something that's everlasting. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, yeah. I we'll hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut the show off early and get home. All right, we'll come back with Dr. Tim's Cajun Kitchen. Thank you again, Harold, for coming up this morning. Thank you. No churning. Thank All right, you. we'll take a break. <laughs> Be right back. Y'all hang on. Uh, you, I can